Artificial intelligence, I want to get your take on this. Um, it's obviously been something that's been happening for years or decades and always something that was going to be in the future. But with this recent emergence of the, the, the chat GPT, I think the consumer has seen it with their, their eyes for maybe the first time and it's starting to really surprise and shock a lot of people. Now, you know, that's a large language model and it's a narrow AI, but I recently had Dr. Ben Gertzel on the show of Singularity Net and he was on about four years ago and he's been on Rogan a couple of times and he's talking always about artificial general intelligence and I think most people would agree that it's only a matter of time until we get an artificial general intelligence. The narrow AIs show us maybe how close we are and when that happens, we get something that knows how to learn, knows how to alter itself and, you know, is something we've really never dealt with as humans. What is Neil deGrasse Tyson's take on AI, potential AGI in the future, and will it annihilate us as humans? That's what I really want to know. That's, that, that's the bottom line that's right there. That's the bottom line. So I have a lot of thoughts on this. I generally don't go public on it because there are plenty of other opinion setters out there. You don't need my opinion on this. Uh, and, there are people, and every person who presents themselves either is or presents themselves as an expert in AI, they're terrified by uh, artificial general intelligence because that level of intelligence can learn on its own. And so if it learned 10% more today than yesterday, then the next day it learns 10% more on top of a bigger number. And the next day is 10, so it's exponential basically. And it'll no, acquire all knowledge there ever was, okay, it rapidly and then make decisions if we give it power over us. So I joke about it and I say, well, we should start behaving <laughs> because <laughs> you, <laughs> you at least want it. I, I comment on AI in the book and in, in body and mind. I say, um, you know, maybe AI or, or some super intelligent alien will decide to make us their pets. Okay. And we're saying, oh my gosh, how terrifying. But then is, really how terrifying is that? Most people will step over a homeless person in the street and bring food to their pet when they arrive at home okay we treat our pets by and large better than we treat other humans so maybe if ai makes us their pets we'll all be much better off but you don't <laughs> but, but the fear factor is ai says the world is way better off without humans and it just summarily destroys us, okay? That's the fear factor. I, I have a different view, okay? And like I said, I don't lead movements with this. Um, there's, and I think you correctly asked the question coming to me. There's narrow AI, and I don't see any reason why we would step out of narrow AI, okay? Because what narrow AI is, I have this task, I need a task. And I'm bored with it, or I don't want to do it, or I'm not good at it. Let the computer do it. My gosh, that's what's been happening since the 1960s, 50s. The computer's been doing it, okay? This is the 1940s when we cracked the, the Enigma, okay? Uh, when the Enigma cracked the German code. What? So it was something a human being couldn't do. We got a machine to do it. By the way, where, where did that happen? Oh, animals replace human labor in domestication, okay? We've been swapping out our abilities with by other means ever since we've had agriculture, okay? So, and by the way, when the computer beat us at chess, a game of our own invention, it beat us at Go, it beat us at Jeopardy, <laughs> which is not just logical inference, it's, oh my gosh, you need some cultural awareness. Did the world come to an end? Did people, you know, create bonfires in the streets? No, it's okay. That's cool. All right. I'll try to make sure I don't compete against one of those <laughs> in the next in the next contest. So um I I don't foresee someone creating AI that not only writes your school essay, but also makes your cup of coffee and drives your car. And I I, I don't see that. I don't see that as an actual path it's a possible path i don't see it as an actual path and here's something that was not foreseen in the 1970s uh when the jetsons 1960s the jetsons uh, by the way george jetson the character 
was born in the year 2022. Hmm. Just if you didn't know that. Hmm. Uh, so <laughs> they've got flying cars and everything. Okay. In that world, okay, um, robots were humanoid, right? The maid was a robot that looked like a maid. But wait a minute, if I have a device that automatically puts clothing in the dishwasher in the, in the washing machine or automatically loads a dishwasher, does that auto loader have to look like a humanoid thing? No, it just has to do what I need it to do. We don't need a ro like in the movie I Robot, okay, based on the, the Isaac Asimov story. Uh, these robots were doing things, including you can get a robot to drive your car. No. Today, the car is the robot. The car makes decisions. It's not a robot sitting in the car that makes the decisions. It's a car robot, not a humanoid robot that has AGI that I have to do 100 different things. No, that's not what I want. I don't have a mark. I don't have a need for that. I don't have a desire for that. So I think this future is safer than we are thinking. But let me add that the AGI robot has all knowledge there ever was that's on the internet. But I can go rummaging through an archaeological site in Pompeii and discover something that I haven't written about yet, and I haven't put on the internet, and I'll know something it, the AI does not. Because I have a curiosity, and I have opposable thumbs, and I can travel whereas your CPU can't travel, really. Um, and or maybe you stick it in a robot, and the robot will go on an expedition, I suppose. Okay, has anyone really talked about that? I don't know. I want to have a vacation and go to the beach and just relax in the sands. Is AI going to do that? Does it want to do that? Does it derive anything from it? This is, relates to if you upload your consciousness, is that you? Well, if the consciousness is sitting in a computer and I go to the Bahamas on a beach, is the computer in the Bahamas? No, I have a life experience the computer will never have, ever. So I'm still being me, and the computer is me ossified in the moment I uploaded my conscious. By the way, when I go to the beach, I have a life experience that forms a new neurosynaptic possibility for a thought I might not have had before my uploaded consciousness would be incapable of that thought because it doesn't have the new life experiences that contributed to it. So I'm fearless of the future of AI, just the way I was fearless of the Y2K <laughs> concerns that people had, that the whole world would come to an end. By then, I'd already written 50,000 lines of code, and I, uh, you know, I, computers have bugs. They always have bugs. And not everyone was going into the new millennium at the same time. We have 24 time zones, for example. Okay. So anyhow, yeah, we all survived it just fine. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true. And you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who wanna join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets, get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. 
Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that want to join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm going to tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you going to do? What's the choice that you're going to make?